Welcome to today's video. Today is Monday and I just wanted to pick up the camera to record and bring you guys along with me today. I'm not sure if this is going to be like a day in the life, a video just for today or if I'm going to continue during the week. Um, I'm trying not to make my videos as long because the last two videos or three are going to be long. Um, so I might just keep it just for today. But anyways, um, I already got the boys ready for the day and made myself my morning coffee and now they're having breakfast over here. But um, I'm gonna get ready now. I have two um, errands to run. So as soon as they're done, I'm gonna go um, pick up groceries and then I have to pick up a prescription. So that's what we're doing this morning. I just have to put some makeup on because I don't wanna look so crazy on camera today. Um, here's my little coffee. Okay, so I got the Nespresso machine. Um, I think I showed it in my last video. I don't even remember or know. But I'm down to one more pod. I have one lonely pod in there. And the only pod I have left in there is a decaffeinated pod. The mess my son the mess my son is making right now is on another level. Anyways, this is the only pot I have left and it's decaf. I mean like who, who invented decaf coffee? Anyways, I love the way the coffee tastes. I am no expert on it yet. I just finished like my sample pack. That's the last one that I have. Um but I don't know, like, I like the idea of having a shot, but, like, having a shot is not enough. I need two, maybe three shots max. So, like, I, this morning I had to do one shot, one pod, and then another pod, which is another shot. So I had two shots in here with my milk. But milk. I need to buy just, like, the 7 ounce. I think 7.7 .7 is the biggest ounce of coffee you'll get with that machine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just going to order all of those because... Mama needs all the caffeine she can get. Okay. Let's go. What is it? Oh, you did that? Yeah, I did that. We are in the car and we are going to leave. My hands are super dry, like super, super dry. Um, that, Like they're kind of peeling. I know that's disgusting, but um, if you know any like a good hand lotions that are hand like hand lotions not like I don't know if hand and body is the same but like see like this is hand cream hand cream oh, you can't probably see that hand cream um for like intense repair or like moisture please let me know because my hands are so dry and my husband says it's because I wash dishes with like hot water like I could I could take hot water I love washing dishes with hot hot water um so he says it's because of that so um anyways um this position is probably so bad you probably can see my triple chin but I'm gonna go now. We are just leaving. I will see you guys at our first okay. stop. I wanna show you guys 
I don't know if you guys could see, but like how the road looks where we live. It's like so, so um, foggy. Is that the word? Foggy? Yeah. It's too far away. Like there's so much fog. There's so much fog. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but it's like super white out here. Just left CVS. Yeah, no hay medicina. I had called and they told me that my prescription was going to be ready um November 30th, which is my birth control pill. Um I lost the package, I lost it with the move. We moved a month ago or so. Yeah, like a month maybe maybe it's been a month already and i lost my birth control package so i had maybe like a, a week's worth so i was taking that but i haven't been taking taking it because like i don't have any more and they told me like you can't get any until november 30th um so i was like okay i'll wait right whatever i get here and they don't have it they said that it wasn't like they don't have nothing for me until December 20 something so I told her like what do I do like, do I have to call my doctor and tell her to give me more and she said she was gonna put it through and for me to come back in about an hour so I haven't taken control but there's no baby over here no babies no babies as you can No more babies. First errand done. I'll see you at the second one. We are at our second destination, which is a coffee shop. I said that it, I was not going to buy coffee. I said that I wasn't going to buy. The secret to keeping these boys quiet is putting the windows down. Anyways, I said I wasn't going to get coffee um, from somewhere um, because I got an espresso machine. But because I only had a sh two shots this morning and because I don't have any more coffee and because I'm at another location. Okay, so the HEB that I go to is down the street. It's like five, seven minutes away. Um, One second, it's my turn. What I like about the coffee shop is that they um have a kid's smoothies. I think I showed it in a video before. I always ask for half for him. But <laughs> because um, he makes a mess so he only got half of a cup but I did get the other half here okay um, so the reason why I came to this coffee shop is because I don't remember what I was saying, but there's an HB seven minutes away from where I live. But why didn't I go there? Oh, I didn't go there because um there wasn't availability for pickup um like early. It's 10:30, so um I like picking up my groceries like eight Mama, to like 11. Mama, go HB. Basically, I like to come and pick up my order before nap time. Um, I usually do like a 8.39 delivery. I mean, 8.39 pickup if I need stuff for breakfast. They still don't deliver where I live. So, um, this HB, which is 10 minutes maybe away, 15. Um, it's further down, but they had availability early, which is 10, 10.30. Excuse me. Um, so that's why I came to this HB because it had early availability and because the coffee shop is right across the street. So let's taste this. I already tasted it before. You guys, I've said this before, and I will keep saying it. But this is better than a Starbucks. It's too better. Mmm. I'm um, here sitting waiting for my groceries. The baby made a mess. 
This is what I got back. He dumped most of the smoothie all over him. And I didn't bring the diaper bag with the wipes because I was just coming to pick up these two things. So I found toilet paper and I just kind of wiped him down back there. But it is amazing. Highly recommend it if you live where I live. Excuse me. I'm just going to talk to the boys and wait for my groceries to get here. Meow. Thank you. Yes, it's, you can just open it. Thank you so much. Not me. Hi. <laughs> what you got? I got your food. Food? Yeah. I'm up close and personal. I put a show on for the boys. We just got home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, I didn't get much because I have stuff in the freezer and the fridge from last week that we didn't use. So this was like just a small weekly order. Um, but I'm going to show you guys real quick what I have planned for the week. I always make a menu on my phone. Let's, oh, let me move out of the way. Focus. No? It's because of reflection. Here. I don't know if you guys could see that, but you see menu. I have... Um, enchiladas verdes. My husband's request for the week. I always um, like ask him, is there something that you want to eat during the week that I could make for you? Um, he eats everything I make, but he requested um, green enchiladas this week, which I love. <laughs> um, I'm also going to make my favorite spicy pasta. Um, it's like the best. It's like the spicy vodka pasta that I got off the internet, but it's just so good. Um, I'm also going to do some chicken legs with um, carrots and potatoes. I have carrots. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do pork chops um, and like some creamy sauce. I, I just get all my recipes off of Pinterest. I'm gonna try to link um, these recipes down below because most of these are from the internet except the enchiladas, I make those from scratch. And then Friday was eating out. Friday is payday um, for us, so we treat ourselves on paydays to go eat out we get paid my husband gets paid obviously like every other week so twice a week so we get to eat out twice a month like a good dinner um so that's that and i'm gonna show you guys real quick what i got okay so for the chicken legs i got two packs of those i don't even know how many come in here two four five two four five okay so there's a ten chicken legs um, I got cheese for the pasta. I love this brand. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I don't mind paying for quality. And it's the Sartori cheese. It's so good. I also buy like the wedge, the block, and I just like cut it up and eat it. It's so good. Um, our favorite butter. I got a ranch seasoning. This is going to go on the legs. I also got um, cinnamon. It was on sale and I don't have any. But this isn't the one that I asked for. <gasps> Did they forget my paprika? I'm going to have to go look at the receipt. Um, I got tomato paste to, for the pasta. I got chicken stock. Um, I got a different kind of pasta. I always get penne. I got a rotini. I got their the nuggets. Those are the boys' nuggets. I get those for like a quick dinner. Um, we got blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, and bananas. We got toast for the pasta. I got some of these. I always want something sweet at night, and I don't want to eat something, like, super bad that, um, makes me feel guilty. So, these are delicious. Um, a bag of potatoes. A something with milk. Um, I got the boys a Cheez-Its. Um flour i think this is going to be for the pork chops i don't have any flour so flour heavy whipping cream our favorite tortillas these are not the tortillas i used for the enchiladas by the way i have another brand in the fridge but these are so good for like tacos and stuff um we got limes avocados one shallot this is for the pasta um jalapenos and yeah that's everything honestly i'm gonna see where my paprika's at i ordered paprika and it's not in here okay so um 
I looked at the receipt and I guess I didn't order paprika. It was one in the morning, but anyways, I forgot to show you these. These are there. Um, but I just like searched in my grocery store app like Nespresso machine coffee or Nespresso coffee and this came up. Um, I know they also have Starbucks boxes like Starbucks brand but those are um, compatible with the Nespresso Next and I have the Nespresso Plus. Um, so this one says it's compatible with all Nespresso machines. Have you tried this before? Probably not. I don't know if it's something that people buy because they probably order all their Nespresso pods from the website but this is just coffee it's a hundred percent intense coffee I got the darkest roast um I just want to see what it looks like from the inside do you want some cheese it's bud no yeah you want a snack yeah no ma'am what was I thinking Compatible with on espresso machines? Uh, 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 uh. This is gonna like fall right through the hole. Uh, uh. <gasps> this is only five dollars. I don't feel bad, but I am so sad. Look at this. And the box didn't look so small on the web, like on the app. This is what an espresso pod looks like, yeah. and this is what I got. Like, no ma'am. Oh god, my child. What, you want cookies? Okay. I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking. There was no picture, I just saw the picture of the box and it looked big, thinking it was gonna be this size. If you want these, let me know. What is this even for? <laughs> Gotta go change your diaper, bye. The boys are napping, so I'm gonna edit some videos. My husband put up this shelf. I, I don't know what it's called, but I have that for now. Um, we took family pictures not too long ago, so I need to go get those printed, but I have this up there so far. It looks kind of weird, but once our family pictures are printed, I think it's gonna look nice, but the boys are napping, so I'm just gonna relax for a bit and edit some videos. I'm trying not to look like a boy with my hair, but whatever. So much for the baby taking a nap. He took an hour nap, um, but he started crying for some reason, right like at the hour, so I tried rocking him back to sleep and he did not want to go back to sleep. So he's here, he's been here for about 30 minutes with me. Um, I'm just cutting up some strawberries for him. But I'm gonna make him some late lunch. It's 2:30, and I'm just gonna put some um, like cheese and chicken um, taquitos that I buy from Costco in the air fryer. It's like such a good and easy lunch. Um, I'll be waking up Santiago. I let Santiago sleep. He's still asleep. Um, I'll let him sleep for like the next 30 more minutes and then the baby will have strawberries for now and I'm getting kind of hungry too, but I'll probably eat just some of those taquitos as well. Um, I'll probably like top them off with lettuce and like cheese and cream and avocado just something uh, simple because tonight i'm gonna be making uh, let me turn the tv down something simple my hair is a mess i washed it yesterday and i hate having clean hair anyways um i hope you guys can't hear the tv because i don't want to get copyrighted because we're, um i put sing for the baby and he loves that movie He's so funny. Um, anyways, I'm gonna have that for lunch and 
tonight I'm going to be making enchiladas, which I should get started on. The chicken, um, I took the chicken out in the morning, so that's kind of defrosting. It's almost ready. And I'm going to put that to boil so it's ready for me to make them. It's so simple. I'm going to show you guys how to make them. Um, but let's get some food in our stomachs. Okay, I have my chicken, so I'm just going to take it out. It was boiling for about an hour or so, maybe even a little bit more. I'm just going to shred it real quick. You, it's really hot, so I'm using two forks, but... Woo! Let's clean up. So I'm going to shred it up. The, uh, it's best to shred it when it's hot because it's easier to shred. So I'm going to do that real quick. This is what it should look like. I shredded the chicken. If there's pieces, like I'll just grab the big pieces of my fingers. Um... But now let's go and make the green sauce. I have about 15 tomatillos and then I also have four jalapenos. I might add one more because I feel like it's not going to be spicy. But this is what we have so far and we're going to let that until it comes to a boil. Okay, I'm going to start taking some out because you see how they're already opening? We don't want that. Um, so as soon as it comes to a boil, you've got to start taking out the tomatillos. So that's what I'm doing. Now you got to keep in mind that these are softer so these boil faster. Um, the jalapenos, I am going to just leave them in there for a little bit longer. The jalapenos are done. I already put one in there. I'm just going to take this off. Careful because it's hot. And I think I'm going to put three for now. And if I want it more spicy, I'll put in the fourth one. They do smell kind of spicy. Um, so I'm just going to do three. And then I'm going to do two garlic cloves. And I'm gonna go grab a spoon of the chicken broth. I said spoon, I think I meant cup. Um, I grabbed a cup of the chicken broth. So don't throw that away. And then I'm still gonna go in there and put a spoon of this. I don't know if you could see it. I would show you the front, but it's all dirty. It's Nor chicken bouillon. Um, I'm gonna do like one tablespoon this is a half so i'm going to do a tablespoon because i already have the chicken broth so i already had put salt in that and i don't want it to be too salty and i'm just going to blend that are you okay um the sauce is ready i have it here i just blended it until it becomes smooth i'm just going to try it i'm just using my knife where i cut the um, garlic with Here you can see if it needs more salt. It's not spicy at all. It's kind of spicy, but not super. This is obviously just going to be for my husband and I. The kids won't eat this, but... I'm going to put a little bit more of the chicken bouillon. Look. I spilled soy sauce on the can when I was moving. So my label's black, but... Okay, I put like half a teaspoon more. Oh, half a tablespoon more. And then I'm gonna blend that again. All right, so I just wiped the pan down and then I'm just putting a little bit of olive oil, a little bit more. And I am going to, um, is it called fry the sauce? Now, if you have one of these, I don't know what it's called, Swifter, hello. Sir, can you turn on the light please? We brought his learning tower from my mom's house, so he's just pulling it up everywhere to reach places. Excuse me, bud. You have to get down, please. So if you have one of these, I think it's called a sifter. You have, to, like, the point of this is just so, like, the skin of the tomatillos and, like, the seeds... Don't get into it. I mean, if you're fine with that, eat it like that. But my husband doesn't like it. Now, this is all I have. 
um the holes are pretty big so hopefully it'll do something i don't have another kind of sifter just this oh, it is. don't eat it Okay, I don't know if you could see if it's focused, but this is like a lot of the skin. If I keep moving it with the spoon, that's gonna get in here because the holes are big. So I'm just kind of like hitting it just very slightly because I don't want I don't want that skin to fall in the sauce. There we go. Come in. Mm, Okay, I'm grabbing a pan, adding oil. Generously. Adding onions. And then I'm gonna add some chicken in there. You okay? And then I'm just gonna cook this. Like saute? I guess it's called saute. These are the tortillas that I use for the enchiladas. So I'm just gonna grab some and I'm gonna put some in a paper towel. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in a paper towel and put them in the microwave for about one minute. Okay, I have my tortillas. They just came out of the microwave. They're hot. I'm gonna put them in the oil for about five seconds until they blister. Okay, so right here I'm just putting the tortilla into oil, letting it boil, not boil, bubble. Letting it bubble. And then that's when I would just fill it up with some of the chicken. Like this, I hope y'all can see that. Kinda, yeah, and then you're just gonna roll it. It is so hot, be careful, okay. So then it should look something like this. And then I'm just gonna put the sauce on top. It should look like something like this. I did put a lot of sauce. Um, whatever your heart desires. This isn't probably the best angle, but this is what we're working with. You could use whatever cheese you want. I'm going to use Monterey Jack cheese. I'm just gonna sprinkle the tops generously. Should look like something like this. What I like to do is put it in the microwave for maybe like a minute just so the cheese melts. Okay, this is what it looks like. I just served it with white rice. And then you're gonna grab any kind of cream. I'm using this brand, Focus. And then I'm gonna pour it on top. Like so There's a hack I saw that you just put like a you poke it with a knife You don't take the thing on top and it'll Let's just be eat. easy to squeeze And and enjoy I am going to enjoy my food and end today's video here My kids are on another level tired 
It is 6.21, so I'm gonna eat and start bedtime routines and clean up this kitchen. And I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you all on next week's video. Bye. Are they good? Mm -hmm. One through 10. 10. You're so creamy, right? Big one. Mm -hmm. He's having just shredded chicken with rice. All right, guys. For real, for real. See you next week. Bye. Bye.